This is amazing. Now we are going to integrate Llama 3 in Autogen. To do this, we are going to use Grok API. You can also use Olama if you want to run this locally on your computer. We are also going to evaluate how the model is capable of converting a text to SQL. I'm going to teach you how to do that. In this, we are going to see how to integrate Llama 3 in Autogen using Grok and also using Olama which means it's completely private and local to your computer. So first we'll be configuring, next we'll be importing data, third we are going to create agents to evaluate the model, then we are going to create custom tools to execute the SQL and finally make them work together. That's exactly what we're going to see today. Let's get started. Hi everyone, I'm really excited to show you about Autogen integration with Llama 3. I'm going to take you through step by step on how to do this. But before that, I regularly create videos in regards to artificial intelligence on my YouTube channel. So do subscribe and click the bell icon to stay tuned. Make sure you click the like button so this video can be helpful for many others like here. First step, pip install pyautogen spider-env and then click enter. Spider-env is the package which we are going to use to download SQL schema to evaluate the model. Next, let's export grok API key like this and then click enter. Now let's create a file called app.py and let's open it. So these are the steps which we are going to follow. First is to configure. In your file, first step, configuration. In that, we are going to import JSON, OS, annotated and dict, spider, env, conversable agent, user proxy agent, and config list from JSON. Next, we are going to assign autogen user docker equals false. If you have docker, you can mention that as true. Next, we are going to define the LLM config. This is where we are going to integrate our Llama 3 70 billion parameter model. And we are going to use Grok to do that. And here is the endpoint. The second step is to import data. We are going to use spider env. This will automatically load the question or the instruction and the schema for the database. So with this, we are able to understand if the large language model is able to convert a text that is the instruction to SQL query based on their SQL schema. This is a spider env package. It's to evaluate text to SQL and you should be able to import lots of challenges. To understand this spider env, we are going to run this code in your terminal python app.py and then click enter. And you can see the schema of the database gets loaded. Here you can see the schema of the database. That is create table, artist, volume, music festival, and this is the question which we are going to ask. Find the famous titles of artists that do not have any volume. Based on this question and this schema, the Autogen agent or the large language model behind the Autogen agent should give a SQL query. Now we are going to extend this code. So step number three is to create agents. We are going to create two agents. One is the SQL writer agent. Another one is the user proxy agent. But before that, we are going to write a function to check if there is any function calling happening or tool call. So the way we interact or integrate our evaluation is using tool call. So we are checking if tool call is happening. So first SQL writer, here we are providing normal system message. You are good at writing SQL queries. Always respond with function call to execute SQL. Now next, the user proxy agent, human input mode never and maximum a consecutive auto reply is five. Now the fourth step, is to create tools or function calling. It is a custom tool to execute the SQL query generated by the large language model or the agent, also called as SQL writer. Then we are going to run that SQL query and check if it is an error or correct one. So the way we add the function calling is by using decorator. This is a much more easier version to implement a function calling. We are going to register for LLM function to SQL writer so that the SQL writer will know there is a function which exists to execute SQL query. Next, we are going to add at user proxy decorator with register for execution function. Next, we're going to create the function. It's execute SQL function. Here using gym.step, we are going to run the SQL query generated by the SQL writer agent. And if any error occurs, we are going to return accordingly. Next step number five, we are going to initiate the chat. We are going to define a prompt template where we are going to provide the schema and the question. So this is the schema which you saw in the terminal before, and this is the question. So that will go here. And finally, user proxy dot initiate chat. SQL writer and the message is the prompt template. That's it. Now we have completed the code. 
As a quick summary, we defined the configuration. We integrated Llama 370 billion parameter model using Grok. Next, we imported the data using Spider ENV package. Third, we created agents, SQL writer and user proxy agents. Then we created a custom tool to execute SQL and added that to SQL writer and user proxy agent. Finally, we are initiating the chat. Now I'm going to run this script. In your terminal, Python app.py and then click enter. Now you can see the user proxy agent is telling the SQL writer, below is the schema for a SQL database, and then it's providing the question here. Generate a SQL query to answer the following question. Find the famous titles of the artists that do not have any volume. So the SQL writer is going to use tool call or function calling. Here, the execute SQL function is being used. Based on the question, it is providing an SQL query, and this SQL query is run by the execute SQL function. And finally, the response is being returned. And here is the response, and that is correct. Now we have successfully tested Llama 70 billion parameter model. Now we have successfully tested Llama 370 billion parameter model of its ability to convert from text to SQL query. But this is just one test. You can even loop multiple tests using this Spider ENV package. This is just a beginner's tutorial, so I'm going to leave here. Now you have learned how to integrate Llama 3 in Autogen, how to integrate Grok in Autogen, how to create a custom function using Decorator, and how to evaluate an agent for a text to SQL query conversion. You can even integrate this with Olama. To do that, in your terminal, make sure you pull Llama 3 from Olama pull Llama 3 and then click enter, considering you've already installed Olama from olama.com website. Next, export OpenAI model name equals Llama 3, export OpenAI API base equals localhost 11434 slash v1 and then click enter. That's it, just these two changes. Now I'm going to run this code, Python app.py and then click enter. And you can see it's working as before and SQL writer is giving the SQL query, but it's not initiating the function call. That's because Llama 7 billion parameter model is comparatively smaller than Llama 70 billion parameter model. And you can see it's not able to perform the task. This is because Llama 3 smaller version is not as powerful in regards to function calling. So I'm not able to get a correct answer. You might need to try a much more advanced version or a model with higher parameter to get better response. I'm really excited about this. I'm going to create more videos similar to this. So stay tuned. I hope you like this video. Do like, share and subscribe and thanks for watching.